pretty people i'm back with another video and today i have a bath and body works empties for you all and i hope you all don't mind but i decided to do a collective empties video so normally i'll separate all of my bath all of my empties videos out i'll do bath and body works and i'll do regular body care then i'll do makeup then i'll do natural hair and then i just realized why don't i just make one big empties video so this video is going to feature products from bath and body works my regular products that i use outside of that body care hair natural hair makeup all of that i'm just gonna make one big empties video so yeah this video might be a long one so you might want to go grab so, a drink some popcorn wine soda and sit back and relax let me show y'all all the items i've been using over the last few months all these products have been accumulating and i'm ready to throw them away okay so i'm gonna show y'all really quick these are the items this is the empties that i want to share with you all I'm just going to hop right on into this. There is no particular order, y'all. So um, the first item that I used up here is the Caress Daily Silk. Um, and that is a body wash. Um, overall, I wasn't the biggest fan of this scent. I felt like it just smelled like an old lady. So it was just like a very strong floral scent. Like it wasn't horrible. I do have another one of these. I got these in a combo deal from Sam's Club. They have it on sale for like eight bucks. So it was like a really good deal in this 25 fluid ounces but um i wasn't the biggest fan of the scent this is my first time trying it out um i won't repurchase it but there is another item from caress that i really like it is the i think it's called the um brown sugar and um shea butter scrub i mean the brown sugar and shea butter body wash that is really really good um so i did go through one of these um i also went through from caress the tahitian pomegranate and coconut milk um, so that's what that looks like. This actually smelled really, really good. I used this towards the end of the summer going into the fall. And it just smells really, really good. Um, I like it a lot. It's a nice, strong pomegranate scent. So really nice and fruity. My daughter um, went through two of these. So this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. She actually has eczema. And this stuff has worked wonders for clearing up her eczema. So if you all have any skin conditions such as eczema, definitely check out CeraVe. It worked really good for her. Um, they also said that Eucerin could work as well. I tried it. It was okay. But that CeraVe, this stuff is really good so went through two of these and she's actually about to empty out another one so i need to go purchase another one of those for her next item i have here is picnic summer daisies this is from bath and body works this is the body cream and y'all know when i use up my products i use them all the way up okay ain't nothing left in there this scent actually surprised me it was really good so this was a floral scent that wasn't that didn't smell too mature for my liking like this was a really nice it was a really nice floral scent and I think it was the peach in here. Yeah. So this one had that um, crisp pear in here. So the crisp pear mixed with the daisies made this a really nice soft floral scent. I really like this one a lot. If I saw it again, I would pick it up. So that's Picnic Summer Daisies. I also used uh, a Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and this is in the scent Tropical Mango. Okay, so I have definitely been sleep on Tree Hut Scrubs. I know people have been talking about them like crazy, but baby, they are good i really like this a lot like i feel like it's not too oily on the skin and, I, and it moisturizes it just enough and the scrub is it's a nice rough scrub like it's not too rough to where it hurts but it you can feel it getting that dirt off your skin so i really like this a lot and i definitely will be purchased i'm actually trying to figure out what i want my next scent to be in this but the bag that tree hut scrub is where it's at. So if y'all haven't tried these, highly recommend that. The next item I used up here is a milk and honey soft soap. Um, so, you know, just regular hand soap. It worked okay. It was fine. It's just a nice soft honey scent. So that was good to use up. The next item I used up here is the St. Ives Pink Lemon and Pink, Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Exfoliating Body Wash. I really love this stuff, you guys. It smells amazing. It smells just super fresh and bright and energizing like yeah i like this scent a lot if you all haven't tried this definitely give it a go um i actually discovered this when i was on vacation with the hubby in um, florida and i've been hooked on it i thought they discontinued it but i recently found it and i've been hooked on it so i used this toward the end of the summer and it was amazing 
yeah this is this is really good the next item that i used up here is okay so this is actually an item from one of my friends from high school she created her own body care line which i was so proud of and i'm super excited for her for shout out to you jazz like i'm proud of you keep doing your thing and so she um creates like body scrubs body butters etc and i purchased one of her body scrubs and body butters and so i went through the puddings potions brown sugar scrub and y'all this stuff was really really good like i so this was really moisturizing and hydrating on the skin the scrub was great the scent was amazing and so the one thing i noticed though is is that it did kind of leave my tub a little bit oily so with this i ended up using it towards the end of my shower because like i said it leaves a nice layer of moisture on your skin before you get out the shower so this stuff was really good use it towards the end of your shower you will love it i am going to just go ahead and leave her facebook page down below i think that's how she sells her products but i would highly recommend this this stuff is really good it's smells amazing oh yeah it smells just like brown sugar like strong brown sugar yeah that's really good so yeah I enjoy using this I also went through let's see oh okay another product from another small business y'all like I love supporting my people okay this is from lovely angel shop um she has a cosmetic and accessories line this is the fluffy whipped orange cream dream body butter and this stuff was really really good like I when I received it unfortunately it was melted but when I say it did not affect the performance at all like yeah this stuff smells like just a nice orange cream sickle and yeah, the performance was amazing. This stuff kept my body hydrated all day. So really like this a lot. I would highly recommend this. I actually need to go and pick up another one of these because this was really good. Next thing that I used up. Okay, here are just some random lashes that I used from Dollar Tree. If y'all have not gotten hip to these Ioni lashes, Ioni lashes from Dollar Tree, y'all are missing out. Matter of fact, no, that's not what I have on my eyes right now. No, these are Amazon lashes. But normally in most of my videos, I'm wearing me some Dollar Tree lashes, y'all. And they are really good. So I got the one in the Wispy Crossover Light. This is actually my favorite one. This is a nice everyday lash. Like, not too dramatic. Um, just, just, just enough drama for the day, okay? And then the next one here is the Wispy Full Dramatic. Now, these are a little bit extra. They, they are pretty... They're pretty big and pretty fluffy. So these, I would really only wear these if I had a full beat face full of makeup. So yeah, I highly recommend this brand. If you see these at Dollar Tree, grab them. Like, yeah, those are really good. Next item I used up here is Mary Cherry Cheer. This is um, a fine fragrance mist from Bath, Bath and Body Works. I really like this scent a lot. Unfortunately, the fine fragrance mist though, the lasting power on this um, spray wasn't really that good. It probably lasted maybe an hour if that and then it fell off my skin. Like I didn't smell it after that. But fresh out the bottle, it smells really nice. And then I did pair it with the body lotion. Um, and I did pair it with the body lotion. The body lotion performed pretty good. It was nice and hydrating. So I did get through this set from Bath and Body Works. I also used a lemon drop martini um, in the shower gel. Um, yeah, you all saw my impressions of this item. I mean, it wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't the worst. Like towards the end of me using it, I was like, okay, it's not that bad. So I used a lemon drop martini. It's good. It's just a nice, it's nice. It's like a nice tart lemon scent. So if you're all looking for something like that, lemon drop martini is a good one. I also used, uh, um, well, I didn't use this up. I got this. I'm letting my hubby use it up. This was the dupe that I got for him of the Paco Rabanne 1 million. He throws on, it's not anything that he wears like out the house when he's going out or anything like that, but just something to use just to kind of get through walking around the house or whatever. I also used up some facial wipes in cucumber and aloe. So these are really good. Um, what I've started doing with my makeup wipes is putting micellar water on these wipes and just using them to clean my makeup off. I heard that's supposed to be a little bit better for you. So got through one of these. Um, my little one got through the Cantu Care for Kids Tear, Tear Free Nourishing Shampoo. Um, and this for gentle care. It's gentle care for textured hair. This stuff works really good for her. Um, I am a fan of Cantu products. It works great for my hair and it's also been working great for my daughter's hair. The next thing I used up is Secret Wonderland. And this is from Bath and Body Works. It's their Intense Moisture Body Butter. Y'all, this is an old product. I am really impressed at how well this performed given how old it was. Like this stuff was amazing. I truly hope that they bring back lotions or body cream body butters like this because this stuff kept my skin hydrated normally when i use any type of lotion or body cream i have to layer it with the oil i didn't need to do that with this so when it says intense moisture that's what it does like i was very impressed with the formula of this 
I don't even know how I can find this again from Bath and Body Works. I don't think they carry it anymore, but if I see it again, I would definitely get it. And the scent was nice too, Secret Wonderland. So I used that up and y'all, I used it all the way up. I'm talking, I scraped the bottle clean, okay? Okay. The next thing I used up is just a thing of alcohol, 50%. Got through that. I also used up a body oil in coconut mango. This is from Dollar Tree. I truly enjoy their uh, body oil. So if y'all haven't used those, you should definitely check them out. Back to hair care. I did um, my little one. She used uh, a thing of shea butter here. This I originally was using on her skin. It didn't agree with it. So I started using it in her hair. And so we got through a whole container of this. It smells really good too. This is, um, my hubby actually got this back from um, his home country. So yeah, we have a few backups of these. Next item I just went through when I recently washed my hair is the Fru Garnier Fructis Curl Stretch Loosening Pudding. That's what this looks like. I got through the entire bottle here. Um, what I will say about this product is that it's four ounces. I have, it smells really good though. Hold on. Yeah, this smells really good. So it's a four ounce product, right? And I have a lot of hair. It's very thick, very long. So this only lasted me one and a half uses. So I probably wouldn't get this again, but I did like how it performed and it kept my hair moisturized. I also went through one of my favorite products. Like I said, I love Cantu for me. My daughter's been using Cantu and I also use it for me. So um, the Cantu Shea Butter Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. I have an in-depth review of this product on my channel. It's really great. I've been using it for years. Like. For over five or six years and it's been great for my hair it still performs great and the smell is a one like it smells so good yeah so i use this also from dollar tree i went through a bath soap and this in the argon and shea butter i don't really i'm not really a big fan of these soaps like they do the job like they do lather up but i just don't feel like they get my body like super squeaky clean so i actually wouldn't recommend this product and i wouldn't buy it again also I went through another set of lashes that's in my favorite style which is the wispy crisp which was which is the wispy crisscross lights so went through that the next item that i used up is actually little black dress and this is from avon this is actually one of my favorite fragrances from avon it's just like a nice soft elegant scent it smells really good and it's like perfect for like date night or whatnot so i actually thought that i used this up in the perfume form too but i guess i didn't so i at least use it up in the lotion and i do have it in the perfume as well and once i use that up I'll bring that to you all. It performs really well together as a set. The next set that I used up is from Ellen Tracy. So I have her um, perfume here. I don't know the name of this one, but it smelled really, really good. It's just like a nice soft powdery scent. This was a great everyday scent. When I was still working corporate, I used to wear this to work all the time. A nice soft powdery everyday scent. So yeah, this is Ellen Tracy. I believe maybe this is the original, but I used it up in the whole set. So I had the um, body lotion as well. So I used it up in the body lotion as well. And then I also used it up in the shower gel. So these three all paired really nicely together. I also used up Endless Summer from Rue 21. I don't even remember how this scent smelled. Oh, yes, I do. It smells good, actually. Okay. So I really like this scent a lot. It actually reminded me of um, Pink Love from um, Victoria's Secret. So I really enjoyed using this scent. It was really good and the lasting power was pretty decent as well. I also went through um, Morning Whisper, which was a fragrance spray from Ulta. Um, this was okay. I used it when I was traveling. Um, just kind of wanted to get rid of it. It was nice. I do like the fact that the bottle kind of, the bottle top comes off. So likely I'll try to reuse this um, and just kind of fill it up with some of my other uh, perfumes when I'm traveling. I also went through a Riri, y'all. This perfume right here is so good. Oh, it's just delicious. So this scent, it's, um, how do I describe this? I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells like a nice woman, like a nice put together woman. So I used to wear this when I was traveling and actually someone gave me the biggest compliment. So my Uber driver, she told me that I smelled really good. And she said, you smell like the essence of a person. And I was like, wow, like that's a really huge compliment. So one other time when I was using this scent, um, I was leaving my hotel room and I had just finished getting ready for the day. I was coming downstairs for breakfast and the guy who worked there that was working the breakfast line, he smelled me like as soon as I got off the elevator, he was like, oh my God. She smells so good. It's almost like he smelled me from across the room. So this is a really good high performing perfume. It's a celebrity scent. It's Riri from Rihanna. Love this scent a lot. I actually just recently repurchased it in the 3.4 ounce um, bottle. 
And man, it just smells really good. And this one right here, I think was the one ounce bottle. Yeah, this one right here was the one ounce bottle. And the bottle was really cute too. Like, I like this. So I went through this from Bath and Body Works. I also went through the Coco Shea Coconut Moisturizing Body Oil. Y'all, the moisturizing body oils from Bath and Body Works are good. Like, I'm so happy that when I hauled this, I had bought like... A lot of backups so I have one more backup of the coconut one and then I have two of the honey which the honey one I'm currently using right now and I absolutely love it this stuff smells really really good so yeah I'm happy to have more of this in my collection so I went through this I also went through sensual I'm not really sure what brand this is sorry it's a little dusty it's been sitting but um, that's the brand here and I really like this scent a lot um, my hubby got this for me for my birthday a few years ago it smells really good. What this smells like and actually looks like is the dupe of um, Calvin Klein Euphoria. This smells just like it and it smells so good. Like this has really good lasting power. It smells like it smells like a deep kind of black cherry type of scent. It's really deep and seductive and really nice. So it kind of, like I said, reminds me of Calvin, Calvin Klein Euphoria. Really like this scent a lot. If I got it again or if I could find it again, I would repurchase it. Next scent I went through is Sparkling Midnight. It's Midnight Sparkle. It's a limited edition from Rue 21. I've had this forever, you guys, like forever and a day. So I went through this scent. It's good. Um, it's a It's a strong... Fem it's a nice strong feminine scent and it smells really nice lasting power on it was really good yeah i thoroughly enjoyed this scent a lot um i it was limited edition so i know i ain't gonna be able to get my hands on it again but i did like it also went through love struck blossom i'm not really sure where this is from but i liked it and i used it up this scent right here this actually reminds me of Flower Bomb. It's the same thing I'm using right now. This smells like a really good dupe for it. Also went through a downtown Calvin Klein. This is in the 1.75 ounce bottle. I like this scent. It's a nice, simple, subtle, everyday scent. What does it smell like? Let me see. I use this all the way up. Yeah, it's a nice, simple, subtle, everyday scent. So I can't say that I would repurchase it, but I'm glad that I tried it out and gave it a go. Next scent is um is a is a body spray from Walmart. It's supposed to be a dupe for the DNKY. Um, I don't remember quite what it smells like, but it smells a little bit florally here. I think I liked it though if I used it up. Like I must have enjoyed it. So yeah, I went through this. Also went through a Zoella Sweet Inspirations Fragrance Body Mist perfume, and this is from Ulta. Um, I don't think that they carry the Zoella line anymore. I think I caught it when it was being discontinued. So I have two other fragrances from this line and I actually really like it a lot. This was a, this was the vanilla, the, the Sweet Inspirations was a vanilla scent and this was really good. I actually paired this with my Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel line and I did enjoy using this perfume. So if I, unfortunately they don't have it anymore, but if they brought it back, I would repurchase it. The rest of these scents are the scents my hubby used up. This is a perfume oil. I normally get these from um, my local beauty supply store and this one's called Barack Obama. And it smells good. It smells like a manly man. This smells like a man who is successful, okay? So just like Barack Obama, let go. So my hubby got through that. He also used up an Aeropostale 87. I don't remember how this smells or how he felt about it, but he went through this. He also went through a Kenneth Cole reaction. Um, this scent is this scent was really good. It was a nice kind of citrusy fresh kind of um cologne and so yeah he liked it um i don't know that he would want me to repurchase it for him though because i this next scent i'm going to talk about is his like favorite scent so um he always kind of comes back to that but he went through this and he he enjoyed it while he was using it next scent here is like hubby's all-time favorite like cologne on the face of this earth and that is none other than sauvage by dior this stuff is really really good um, he has went through numerous bottles of this. Um, so that's what the packaging looks like. It's so nice and looks like it's magnetic lid and yeah, oh, this stuff smells really, really good. If you want your man to smell good and you want to, you want a scent that's, if you want your man to smell good and you want a scent on him, that's going to make you not want to take your hands off of him. Get Savage Dior, y'all. This is stuff. This stuff is great. So how I discovered this scent, right? So one day I was at the toll tag store trying to get a toll tag for my car, and I had forgot something out in my vehicle. And I was walking back, and there was this gentleman that walked by me. And when I say he smelled good, good, so good that I had to turn and whip my head. And I must have approached him and I asked him. I was like, "Sir, 
I don't mean to be too forward, but you smell really, really good. What cologne are you wearing? And he told me it was, he said it's the Johnny Depp cologne. And I was like, what, what cologne is that? And he said, um, it's Sauvage by Dior. And I was like, okay, I love it. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Da, da, da. I went home that same day and I purchased this for my husband and he has fallen in love with it and it has been wearing it ever since. So this is his signature scent, Sauvage Dior. So he went through this 3.4 ounce bottle of it. He went through this 3.4 ounce bottle of it. And then he also went through two minis of it. So this is definitely his all time favorite scent or his, his all time favorite cologne. Um, he did, I did get him a couple of 6.4 ounce bottles too, but I could not keep up with them. I think he actually already threw them in the trash. I know he's went through at least two of those. And so, yeah, he has went through a lot of this Sauvage y'all. So this shows how good it is. And this is something that I exclusively, exclusively purchased for him. And he's always happy anytime he gets it again. So, um, he actually is running low on his current 6.4 ounce bottle. And so if in the making, okay. Oh, and this is just how the mini one look. I think that's so cute. I normally keep these for him for when we travel so that he can have his favorite scent with him on the road and then the last scent that he went through is the matte blanc legend um i got this for him in the huge uh 6.4 ounce bottle and this smells really good too again y'all these are like some nice deep woody scents this is a nice deep woody scent yeah this smells really nice so um he went through this huge bottle of matte blanc legend from bath and body works i also went through a sweet pea hand sanitizer that's a great scent really good i also went through just a few makeup items here that i'm seeing i went through a few mascaras um i just go ahead i just went ahead and declared these empties because they're not performing the way that i want them to so this is an organic wear physician's formula mascara and then the covergirl so lashy pro pro blast i'm gonna go ahead and just move that out my collection um i have gotten into wearing lashes so honestly i don't really use mascara too much these days i'm also sadly enough moving fenty beauty out of my collection um i wanted to love this product so much but it just doesn't perform well with my skin type i have oily skin and it just it doesn't look good on my skin after a few hours and this is their this is her pro filter um soft matte foundation i used it up to right about here and also too with this like the pump popped off or whatever i saw some videos on how to still get the rest of the product out but to be honest with you it's just not performing the way that i needed to so i am going to go ahead and move this out of my collection and declutter it i got through a refreshing foot scrub and this was from earth therapeutics this was really really nice it was a very herbal peppermint type scent yeah i actually enjoyed using it in the shower it just smelled so fresh like i was outdoors and just in with nature so and the exfoliating on it the exfoliating factors of it was really good too so yeah again it's the therapeutic refreshing foot scrub if i saw this again i would definitely get it again also went through a dopalax you all know what these are for i'm not going to talk too much about that the next item i used up here is a uh, placard these are just like floss and toothpicks so these are nice my little one she also went through um her she also went through an aquaphor baby wash and shampoo so she's went through a few of these you guys so these it, this is also something that works really good for her skin so highly recommend this if you have little ones next item that i used up here so i haven't actually fully used this product up but i want to um kind of mention it here because i don't really do nail empties and if that's something i want to see let me know but um this is the keratin three-day growth i use this in between sets to kind of help strengthen my nails and keep them growing really good so i'm still using this product but i just want to kind of mention it here because i used it and i like it so that's that i also went through we went through another colgate toothpaste these are good we always buy these um i went through some cucumber watermelon mints i got these from walmart these were really good i like having this in my purse and using that up i got a few makeup items here so i went through a lip mask from ulta it was okay um i think i noticed a little bit of a difference it's not something i would go on my way to purchase again but i like using it i think i got it free as like a birthday gift one year also went through a lip gloss from nyx this is in um a ginger snap that's what that looks like i actually really love this color and i think i was watching some videos where they said that they reformulated ginger snap which i'm so sad about because y'all this stuff is so good let me see if i can get some out of here like let me see i just love how this looks on my skin like it looks so good it's like the perfect nude for me 
Okay, yeah, I think I was able to get some out and on my lips. So it's just a nice natural nude. If you all are of my skin complexion and looking for a nice nude lip gloss that's moisturizing and hydrating, definitely check out the NYX Ginger Snap. So yeah, I went through one of those. I also went through the Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. You all, this right here is my holy grail. It's my tried and true. I normally get it from Walmart. It's less than five bucks and it performs spectacular on my skin. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. That's all I have on my face right now It's just some of this. And it just makes my skin look like it's glowing makes it look natural makes it look beautiful i love this powder foundation so much i even have tried high-end foundations like i went and purchased mac like you all saw i went and purchased fenty like i've tried the higher end makeup and for for some reason i just find that the simple basic stuff works for me another one that i uh went through was the cover girl ready said gorgeous unfortunately i don't have it here with me to show but i went through that and it's a drugstore foundation also really affordable so i don't know what it is about these like affordable basic foundations but they work for me so yeah this black radiance and I have it in the color ebony tried and true I've went through so many of these next I have the Ella lemongrass um, essential oil and I went through this I really enjoyed this a lot I actually used this as a car freshener um, I had the little thing that you can put on the vent and then drop essential oil drops in there y'all this had my car smelling so good like yeah so I went through a whole one of these I like this a lot I would highly recommend that and I feel like this is a pretty good brand or a pretty good grade of essential oil. I also went through the Skin Renewal Recipe Creme, Creme Body Wash. So this is from Shea Moisture. Um, this was okay. What I realized that, that what I realized while using this, I was trying to use it as an actual body wash, and it just doesn't work that way. So this is actually like a body conditioner. So this is something you you want to use after you've used your regular body wash, and then put this cream all over your body, let it sit for like a minute or two, and then rinse it off. I found when I used it that way, it made my skin feel really nice, soft, and supple. So I don't know that it's something I would purchase again, but I did enjoy using it when I had it. I went through some petroleum jelly um this is something i was also using on my daughter's skin to kind of help out with the eczema i went through a travel size of verbena and lavender body lotion went through this i used up a bath bomb this is called um for, it's from the company f bomb and it's called namaste so i used this in the bath I got these from Walmart. I don't think I would recommend these. They weren't that great. And I noticed it didn't really like break apart. Like I went through my whole bath and I was in there for a good 30 minutes and I could still feel, I could still see like a little piece of the bath bomb still in there. So it didn't disintegrate very well, but I used it. Um, I also went through another deodorant, which is the Suave 24 hour protection invisible solid. I really like these. That's pretty much exclusively what I use. And then the last few items I have here is some wallflowers. So I don't remember what this scent was, but I used this up from Bath and Body Works. And then I am kind of transitioning over to using more of the Airwick air freshener. So I used two of these from Airwick, got through this and really liked them. I think that is everything, okay? So I have been using my products. I have went through a lot of stuff. Um, let me know if you all like the format of this video where I mix in all of my other body care products that I'm using along with my body, bath and body work stuff or if you would prefer for me to keep those videos separate. Um, I just thought it would make sense instead of making all of these separate individual videos to just do it all in one. And that way um, you all can kind of see what other body care items um, you might want to try out or test out. So yeah, let me know what you all think about this style of video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have been getting through a lot of my products. As I bring stuff in, y'all, I'm trying to use it and take it out as well. So remember to shop y'all stashes. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Saturdays in particular are my Bath and Body Works videos. So if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, you guys, Leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.